Hey guys, welcome back to Watch Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Comedy Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitch and we have been on the cluster of LV426 for a little while now. I say a cluster because of course we are inhabiting three rocks at the moment and we appear to have another two on our scopes. Last time we spent the majority of our efforts getting these atmosphere suits set up here so that we could go down and do some high temperature work. This was just the beginning of what I want to do in the high temperatures because if we come over to Sherubini, something like that, I'm not sure how to pronounce this yet, you can see that we have aluminium volcano, another aluminium volcano and over here we actually have a two gold volcanoes. Now these are to me represent an infinite source of metal. Something that I am actually starting to run a little bit short of. As you can see I'm keep, keeping track of all my details over here but of course I've not started the game so nothing is loaded. Uh, and as you can see uh, we, we are kind of running a little bit low if I just kind of scroll down here. Anything we've got in any sort of uh, large amounts is cobalt or 7.4 percent. But what I'm re uh, four tons, sorry. What I'm really trying to get together is a bunch of iron. I want to be able to go around and reclaim all of my iron from around here because, of course, the most important thing to do with your iron is to turn it into steel. Now that means what we need to start well start with is making a janky little, um, just temporary metal creation process. Now. We all know what this means. Wherever I put this is going to be the final placement for it. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is empty this little biome out here. We've got a whole bunch of water on this side of the abyssalite that we could just like dump all our liquids into. Uh, and I think, uh, dump all our heat into, sorry. And because it's actually quite cold here, well actually 18 degrees, 20 degrees, it's been warming up from down below. But this geyser, this cool slush geyser, actually outputs water at minus 10 degrees. So it should be a constant constant cold to balance our constant heat. That's what I'm hoping for. First thing I'm going to do, draw an insulated box. I'm not really looking for it to be huge, but I'm not looking for it to be tiny either. Let's do this. This is like the beginnings of my industrial cube. I don't know whether we're going to flood this with steam and end up emptying it out like that. Um, no, no. In fact, we're not going to be. At least not to begin with. Because of course, once you get access to all the heat bearing technologies, we can just start building uh, rooms full of steam that we put all the hot stuff into, the hot machines put their heat into the steam and then we just have a bunch of steam turbines at the top cooling that steam down. It's a beautiful system, it really is, but that's not the one we're going to use straight away. No, the first one we're going to be using is using liquid pumps to pump all our heat from here into there. And they're off, digging. Now all we've got at the moment is Hicks digging. That's fine, that's fine. I'm sure as some more of the jobs get done, Hicks is going to uh, be joined by other people. I saw Ash came down and done stuff, but of our Ash is the uh, the main person for going around and collecting up all the materials. Something else that I want to do. I think it's time we started knocking down these uh, storage containers here. For the starters, they are absolutely destroying the decor on the way to the hatches over here. So let's, let's try and get rid of that. Bishop, nice. Couldn't you be doing that first? But okay, all right, fine. We're going to do that. The moment that goes... Did you go? Let's watch that drop. We're going to need to put something down here that sweeps this up. Maybe a sweepy dock. Like, that's the important thing there. Uh, one thing I am wondering is, does this sweepy dock actually want to get emptied into here if we put... I mean, it is up. It is up. But does it have the same materials? So we've got a whole bunch of polluted water here. Hopefully that just gets dumped uh, up this way. I'm not sure if that's actually going to be a thing. Let's look in here. It's got a nine, so uh, yeah, maybe, maybe... If we uh, if we hit the exclamation mark, is anyone going to come and grab it? That's my big question. Don't, I don't see any other polluted water anywhere to be swept up. So uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping that this is actually a self-emptying system. Beautiful. Okay. All right. I like that. I, I like that a lot. Let's turn this alarm off. <laughs> okay. No idea when people are going to get around to that job, but they'll get around to it when they get around to it, right? Oh, uh, and the important thing, now that we've ripped down this uh, this storage container, sweep that up, all of it will want to get dumped into this storage area here. Okay, all the cooking done for the day. Jonesy has come along to help out. Got himself an excavation skill point there. Beautiful, beautiful. Not a skill point, an attribute point. Of course, there's attribute points and skill points. Skill points we get to spend and attributes are like their native stats. Is that, is, that, is that a good explanation? I hope so. Not liking the fact that Hicks can't breathe here. Let's press the F1 button. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty bad. We need to get some oxygen down here. We've got a pretty solid line there. Let's uh, let's just steal this, shall we? Let's pull this down this. Uh, no, 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 no. We want it on this side. Let's run it down this side. Uh, yeah. Uh, the problem is, the problem is that the thing that I am considering right here is, of course, we've got a gas bridge here. So if I just pull off from this side, what's going to happen is the gas bridge will take priority. That's not quite what we want. It's going to have to be on this side. 
I'm sure we'll, we'll figure out some sort of wonderful system. We're also warming it up on the way past, you know, just, just on the way past. Okay, putting this gas line in has definitely told me I want to do a few things like move this exosuit forge into here. Oh, did we give these guys a new exosuit forge? It's one of the pro yeah, there it is, there it is. Okay, cool. What we want to do, this worn exosuit, just got to put it on forever. Uh, so this was something we did last time, uh, and I, I did mention that exosuits now wear out. A little inconvenient, but you know, it's, it's, it's the game, it's the game, these things do that. Uh, durability 100%, is that for... The one on there looks like it. Item loses durability each time they're equipped and can no longer be put on by a duplicate once they reach zero. So we got 100. What about this guy? 98. Look at it. It's going down. It's going down. So when it reaches a certain level, I don't know how far, uh, we want some reed fiber here. Okay, so we might have to send the reed fiber through the teleport device. Now, uh, that one is up here somewhere. Oh, it gets a little complex when you're dealing with all these different things, right? Industrial ingredient, I think, reed fiber. Okay, we don't want all of it to go, but we do want some of it to go. Do we want all of it to go? Maybe we want all of it to go. Oh man, look at all this mud we've got here. This is not where we want this. <laughs> Interesting pattern you've dug out here, Hicks. Though I do notice you've released a bunch of oxalite, so that, that's that's cool. Helping yourself there, man. I mean, that's, that's the way that's the way to go through life, right? You can't can't rely on the powers that be to come along and help you. You've got, you've got to do your own digging, it turns out. One of the crazy ideas that I've got, I'm not sure whether we're going to do it or not, so any feedback on this plan would be great. How about we dig a tunnel for the water going all the way down here, uh, stopping on the abyssalite, or just above, because I know there's some bugs with abyssalite, and then making a little heat well over here. We put the water down and splash it across, and then the steam should go up, and we have a little steam turbine here, and we just slowly cool down all the lava underneath. Um, it, it's kind of similar to what I did during, during my main playthrough, Last time, yeah, I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys think. Is that is that something we should do for free and infinite power? Oh, it's not. It's got the, the 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 power's gonna run out as we run out of heat down here. But I don't think there's any other reason for being down here. Oh, there's a neutronium patch here, but look how close it is to the abyssalite. I bet I bet it died. <laughs> if indeed it was a geyser. <laughs> Oh, I just heard the noise of this. Anything we want here, Dr. Tidy in building, ranching, farming. No, if anything, I'm looking for an artiste at the moment. Oh, perhaps we could have had another farm, all right? Mm. Well, we'll, we'll just wait for the next one. No big problem. <laughs> a thought has just occurred. I wonder if we even got metal metal refining up and running yet. Oh, look, there it is. Yes, okay, good. Good. <laughs> also, whilst we're here, I'm giving thought to having a reset at some point. The way that we started this uh, this game is no longer possible. Like, you need to, to get some, some serious atomic research before you can be doing solar panels and stuff like that. So there was a whole bunch of stuff that we kind of took advantage of that isn't even applicable anymore. So I'm not sure whether we want to start again soon or maybe think about waiting for the DLC to release or another major update to it. I don't know. I don't know. Turns out this this episode full of gimme feedbacks. <laughs> so we noticed that we've got a whole bunch of cobalt kicking about. 6.9 tons of it. That's gone down since we've been building some extra stuff, but that's fine. That's fine. That's no problem. I'm also going to churn a whole a bunch of it into, uh, let's have a look, about 150 kilograms of cobalt. No, 1,000, one and a half tons. Oh, there's a zero there. <laughs> Of course, the next big thing we need to do is clean it all up. So I'm putting in a big old power station at the top here. We're going to put it, uh, put a whole bunch of obsidian underneath so that the temperatures can swing around and be one with each other. I don't know if that's a thing I need to do, but we're going to try and do it anyway. Uh, slapping in a battery. Now, I'm leaving a one space next to all of these so that I can upgrade them when I have uh, infinite refined metals to a bigger power source. Unfortunately, right now, all we can use are these. In fact, I'm going to have to tie two of these together to provide the power to this. But once we are able to upgrade, we will be able to only use one transformer per item, or at least that is my hope. Man, another reason we need to start thinking about moving this water is uh, we're currently kind of wasting water. It, it can't go, uh, can't erupt anymore because it's over pressure. I mean, fair enough. We are using all this water that's come from here to quite a serious degree by the looks of it. Warming this whole cold biome up and it's all just melting away out in front of us. Yeah, look at look at this. Like this, this stuff here is over one degree. Uh, well, over zero degrees, but of course it's going up and down. Interesting. I wonder how it got warm. I wonder how it got warm. I think this might be the first time I've seen a regular grub fruit plant. Normally, normally we've got the spindly ones. Let's have a look down here. I don't know what the difference between a spindly grub fruit and a real grub fruit is. If it is tended by a divergent critter, it will uh, produce high quality fruits instead. So I need to get one of these guys, these guys, down here. Hmm. Look, look like him. 
Okay, we got plans, we got plans. We're gonna uproot that one. Uh, as soon as someone gets here, please, anyone there? Hicks got selected. Of course, it's not like you've got more important things to do, is it, buddy? No, no, of course not, of course not. Right, we're coming into the food, we're going to the critter drop-off. Uh, we're gonna just drop this here. What is that? Oh, this is a, 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 a farmhouse. Greenhouse, greenhouse is what it's called. Okay, he's done his drop there. It, did, it didn't get put down, why not? Okay, Ash putting the critter drop off together for us. I'm gonna select this guy wherever he is, grub grub. Uh, we're gonna wrangle, hopefully that's gonna be uh, Ripley's immediate call to do stuff. Put this one up to the highest quality and those two, high priority someone. And those two, hopefully now we're gonna get one of those guys to, to bring this down. So, soon as Ripley feels like it's important. There it is, Runch. Wrangle, sorry. Runch is there as well, but it's the Wrangle I'm interested in. Ah, uh, I've pushed the priority of the Wrangle up, but it turns out it wasn't enough. Let's let's try it again. No, we might very well have to push the forbidden button. Totally uncoerced and organic Wrangling. Well, well done, Ripley. Well done. Hopefully now, picking that up and moving it down here is also pretty high priority. We've got to wait for that yellow bar to go across. Right, he gets all bundled up and Ash is number one. Jonesy. Jonesy is straight on it. It's like, yes, please. I will move that guy. I know good food when I see it and this will lead to good food. Amazing that Jonesy can carry such a large creature without any sort of, um, you know, external external view of it on them. Uh, you seem to have been stuck underneath. You good? You good? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, we're going to rip this one down now, and we're going to put grub fruit in its place as soon as we can. I guess it's just a case of waiting to see now. He says he's hungry. Why? Oh, look. Look, he's doing a thing. He's doing... What? Did he try to eat that and then went no? Oh, no. Grub okay, this is cool. This is cool. Plus 50% growth speed. Ah, oh, nice. We're going to end up with more food that we know what to deal with. Though I do know what to do with this. We can't just turn it all into dirt. Though we can turn it all into dirt. We also have something to do with the polluted dirt. The If we come over to Taranu, uh, these guys. Hi, how you doing? The poke shells, which give us the uh, the lime and the shell to turn into lime. Uh, that They take polluted dirt. Where is it there? Polluted dirt or rock piles. So an overproduction of food is not the worst thing in the world. Oh, it's not a very pleasant place to be on this side of the wall. As you can see, we've got most of what we need set up here, including the, clear, the kiln that I completely forgot about. We're starting to turn over some refined carbon. The reason that we need it is obviously we need it for the iron to steal. All right, there's no problem. Uh, now, the way that I'm dealing with the water here is going to be a little bit different from normal. Normally, what I do is I, I circulate the same coolant round, around, 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 uh, and we just cool the coolant off somehow. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up individual blobs of water. We're going to put, put, put them through the heating process and then we're just gonna vent the stuff over there. I think I think that's a great idea. Let's just quickly give it one of those. Oh Hicks, you're not having a good time are you mate? I, th I suppose we could really do with a an a atmosphere suit over here. Like is there somewhere else we could put the water sieve? Could we put the water sieve up there? Is, th is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, we'll, we'll figure that out at some point. Oh, Hicks, Hicks, mate, you're not having a great time, are you? Oh, I have a feeling, oh no, someone's gonna have themselves a case of hypothermia before we get all of this building done. I wonder if we better share the load. Let's let's try that, let's try that. We'll put all of this onto super high priority. I'm gonna wait to knock this hole through because obviously all the liquid spilling out wouldn't be a great one. I was kind of hoping by putting the liquid bridges over that we would actually jump this bit of abyss light here. No. Okay, here they all come. Do the jobs, do the jobs guys. Bishop Hicks, Ash, here comes Ripley. I did notice that Jonesy kind of wasn't getting involved. Are you Are you an unbuilder? Are you not allowed to build? Turns out I can't, can't click him on the way past. All right, cool. Let's have a quick look. Unconstructive. Yeah, he, he, he can't actually build. Okay, fair, fair enough. We'll leave you to it then. Well, it turns out that indeed many hands do make light work and uh, yeah, we're, we're almost done here. Almost done. Le <laughs> less than quarter of a cycle. That's great. <laughs> Nobody's having fun with their eyes, it turns out. Everyone... Oh, no, Ash. Ash has got himself a, a case of hypothermia. Not great. Okay, here we go. It's time to let the water loose. I suppose we could come in through the top here, dig down, put a tile wall up and stuff, but I, I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to... If all else fails, we can do that and then build dark tiles in place if need be. I, I think this will be fine. Now, in fact, I think the oxygen inside here is actually going to keep the liquids from flowing in. If we press uh, F4, you can see that there are a whole bunch of gases in there. Whether they're going to be able to escape out that way... Oh, oh yeah, yes. Yes, they are able to escape. Okay, that, that's the thing. We're going to end up with a little bit of a flooded chamber here. Am I that bothered by it? No. In fact, I think we're just going to backfill it. If I take this insulated tile and put those like that, that should help. 
Okay, we've got this first liquid bridge in place, so of course the liquid line is filling up here. Let's do a little bit of mathematics together, shall we? We press on the iron and still, you can see that the heat goes in at 117 kilojoules. Turns out energy is the uh, is the currency of the universe, not temperature. But if we have a look, if the water is used for this, the temperature will be raised by 56 degrees. Now, salt water has a bit of a higher specific heat capacity, so it's not going to be raised quite as much. Uh, and so let's say 50 degrees, just ballpark those figures. Should we be cautious, actually? Let's say 60 degrees. 20 plus 60 is 80. We're not boiling anything. It's great. We'll just uh, wait and see what the long-term ramifications of that is when we start just warming this cycle up over and over. But we're, we're grabbing the cold stuff, big inverted commas, cold stuff from down below here, uh, and then dumping the hot above. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Of course, it's actually the other way around because it's cold biome above and hot biome below. Oh, great. We've already got a fabricate errand queue. That's that's amazing. Oh, that's really good. We're, we're already making steel. Oh, this is great. The refined carbon is getting moved around. I mean, eventually we'll have like a storage system up here and then an auto loader down below and it'll take all the, the stuff that we've had um, like the iron and the refined carbon up here put it down there for us and then people just need to come along now that I'm thinking about it wouldn't it have been better to put this here so they don't have to make this journey all the way across here but you know whatever whatever the brine is coming out quite warm quite warm 89 degrees but by the time it gets in here it gets um, diluted down to 20 so that, that, that's all right we can live with that definitely does mean at some point we're going to be putting our filtration system to the test as we move all of the polluted, well, all the brine water up and then the polluted water will drop back down because, of course, we are still consuming some. It still gets eaten every now and then this way. You can see that it's going across. Oh, there it goes. One more through. Uh, so eventually we will run out of brine down here. I kind of don't like this. I, re I really wish we could have kept it this way. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, 600 kilograms already. We are well away. Okay, well, I suppose one of the next things we need to do, I mean, aside from setting up the rocket that we're going to be sending across, which is something we want to do, but I want to come along to this. I want to go, hey, could you show us the metals, please? Now, look, look, look there we go. Cobalt there, copper. We're looking for iron. Like this. This is made of iron. Do you reckon we can make it out of anything else? Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of that. Look, we've got some radiant iron pipes around here. No, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Man, this is... It's going to take a while to check all of this out, right? First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to rip down this liquid pipe. I'm going to open up this liquid pipe, and I'm going to be like, hey, could we... Down here, we've got an extract pipe content, so I'm just going to click that there. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what we're opening up there, actually. Let's, let's stop again. Let's do this one more time. We're going to go down to the extract content, and then, of course... Only leave liquid pipes running. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Much, much better. Uh, one beyond the the pipe, so it's got somewhere to pull. The, 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 the bridge, sorry. Ah, the sweepy docks are made out of iron. I mean, these are copper, thank But this is made out of iron. Oh, man, this is going to take us a while to go through and uh, replace everything for copper. Or cobalt. Either one. Either one's good. We just we can't have these. Look, these are just kind of mucking about here. Can we... Uh, if I click this radiant pipe B, uh, let's go for cobalt. Thank you very much. And we'll just kind of drag it across there. Get all that iron back. Yes, yes. All right, yes, yes, I could move this water sieve up here. I really didn't know whether we were going to be able to do it when I started this project, but it turns out, yes. Okay, coming down to the stations, I want to move an atmosphere checkpoint here. Not that way around, this way around. Right, thanks very much. Uh, I, I guess we're putting in two. One, two. I'm, I'm not making them out of iron, am I? I'm making them out of steel. Ew, stop making them out of steel. What, what, what is wrong with me? Definitely going to need to make some more cobalt, though. We, we, we're there. Cobalt. Am I saying it right? I, I keep feeling like I'm saying an O instead of an A there. I, I don't know. I'm surprised no one's taken the mickey yet in the, in the comments. <laughs> Okay, so two suits and checkpoints set up. We're also going to come down here. I guess we're going to make some copper ones. Do we have any copper? We don't have any copper. We're not using the iron. Oh, man. Okay, well, we're going to have to make some copper. One of the things we're going to have to do at some point is take a diagonal line of insulated pipes up over to, to somewhere up here. I've got a feeling we're going to meet up with this one, and then that will make, mean that this whole section here is completely insulated apart from the bottom bit, where I am letting the heat in so that we can dissipate some, some of the heat that's down here. Not a great deal, but it's 33 degrees here. That's 109 degrees at the bottom. So there, there is definitely temperatures to move. 
Okay, I'll queue these guys up ready to go. We're just waiting for more copper to be made. We're already actually turning over over here, so this shouldn't be a problem. Jonesy, obviously, with no cooking to be done, is on his way. Also, a little side note, this guy didn't have the allow manual use uh, checkpoint on it at some point, so we've just been building up food here without actually turning over. Another thing that I want to point out, so we've been making these grub fruits now. Awesome, all about it. Turns out you can't make anything on the grill with just ordinary grub fruit. We can make grub fruit preserve, but we need sucrose for that. And I, as you can see, I don't have that much. Like, what? It's coming into the consumables. I want to see what level we're at with this. Uh, lettuce, spindly grub fruit. Where's the actual grub fruit? Actual grub fruit, plus one. Uh, you know what? I'll take that as just a meal people are going to eat. To be fair, these roasted grub fruit nuts, same, same morale bonus. So I've noticed that we've got quite a few of the little red dots starting to appear everywhere. I'm going to go with this on five. We're going to... Uh, ooh, I was going to zoom out a little bit more. Uh, we're going to just drag all the way from here down to there bam right it's all, it's all blue it's all blue let's see what happens <laughs> the reason that i did that as i noticed my desalinator wasn't being dealt with and that's obviously because everything else had been pushed up in priority uh, also another thing that i've needed to do you can see that i put an extra ceiling lamp in here uh, that's because bishop was uh, not not being calmed by the the light over here so we've had to put both in hopefully now this means yeah 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 we've got a well lit lux on there uh it, it was much lower it was like this thousand look you can see we've got dim over there not not about that oh people we're looking for a farmer rancher and we're looking for a, an artist farmer rancher artist no no we don't we don't have that Wait, 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 wait. Where are you taking this read fire? Stop, stop, stop. View the interior. What, what's going on? You, uh, turn off. Whoa, oh my, oh, oh wow. What, what, have, what have we got? Oh no. <laughs> well, th things to keep an eye on, hey? Things to keep an eye on. <laughs> We've had polluted water in there. Has this been, uh, no, J Jones, what? No. Uh, okay, okay, we need to disable that building. <laughs> All right, great. <laughs> Turns out a lot of stuff going on in the, uh, in the rockets here. Nice Bishop has been getting more and more stressed as time goes on. I'm trying to keep an eye on him and find out why. But as always, whenever I'm keeping an eye on him, it's just constantly going down. Even not taking into the account the center of attention, minus 5% uh, there. He would still be going down 20% every every cycle. So how did he get this 25%? What, what happened there? Ah, I've been wondering for a while why this hasn't been worked on. It's, of course, because we don't actually have ladder access. Obviously, at some point when we put this uh, auto dispenser in, uh, we, we covered up the access way. So hopefully this will now help. We're going to be able to pick up the iron down below. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, great. We've got a, a way of passage re-established, and people are coming along to do that. Oh, look, the, the Ripley's coming along to pick up all the polluted dirt and stuff at the bottom of the water as well. Oh, this is really good. This is actually really good. Got a lot of stuff under here that we need to take advantage of, you know? We're definitely starting to run out of iron here. Obviously, every radiant pipe gives us a little bit more, but oh, look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. Oh, a bit of an idiot. I've been turning the copper into copper ore over here, but of course this, I mean, it does produce a sand. That's really good, but we could also uh, kind of do it down here and get a 100% change over. That, that's much better. Let's, let's do that instead. Sa sand is not a limited process. We can, we can definitely make more sand. Did you know you can cook dirt into making sand? I mean, that's, that's great. That's great. Okay, we've got an emptying of the pipes going on here. This is beautiful. Hopefully when all of this gets emptied out properly. In fact, right now we could even take out these and this. We need to leave the little bit of pipe here so that Ash has somewhere to empty the pipe from, if you will. But look, look, look we, can, we can even start getting rid of all of this lot up here as well. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm all about it. And done. Like, done and done. All right, beautiful. Got all that iron back. Everything's beautiful. Don't like the p things are being delivered here. Let's X buildings. We'll put this down quite low and go, just just stop, guys, just stop. This is going to become very messy very quickly, but we just, we need to deal with it, right? I wish I'd done a check of the decor before. Okay, over here, minus 52. Over here, minus 50. It's about, it works out about the same. Oh, that's, that's horrible. <laughs> was kind of expecting the debris to be more detrimental than the storage bins, but it turns out no, they're just as bad as each other, so you might as well just keep your stuff on the floor, right? Is that, is that what we're learning here? I hope not, because I'm putting everything in a pit. <laughs> Critter starvation, I'm getting uh, a lot of information about. What is going on? Chlorine? Chlorine? Oh no! Let's press the F4 and have a look. Oh, there's, there's like none left. <laughs> Don't have any coal here to burn. Oh. Oh. Turns out that maybe, maybe three duplicates aren't enough to provide the amount of carbon dioxide we need. That's that's actually a bit of a shame. One thing I am going to do over here, we're going to put a double airflow tile in. 
so that we can hopefully let this carbon dioxide flow because I can see some of it getting trapped over here. We're just going to have to do what we can. Just do what we can, right? Something I forgot about. I should probably insulate these pipes. There's quite a lot of heat coming out of them. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, there's, there's like 50 degree water going through. And as you can tell, the temperature of the oxygen is climbing steadily. Uh, we're probably going to have to disable this building for a moment. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Oh no, this is what I didn't want to have. Did we lose liquids? Did we lose liquids? No, we're good. Okay, okay, we're fine. Okay, that looks a lot better. I think we can probably just enable the building now. All right, I've put this one up one because I, I need this copper ore. Okay, hopefully now that the pipes are insulated, we won't be having... To, oh gosh, look at it. The terrible problems of the heat coming through. I'm not sure if the refinery itself is also getting hot. Looks like it, looks like it. So we'll have to try and figure out a, uh, a similar cooling issue. I bet, I bet, I bet. What is this coming through at? 20 degrees. Radiant heat pipe made out of cobalt. Let's just throw it up like that. And hopefully this will extract some heat, put it in there, and then we'll end up with a bit more going through. There was a starvation warning then. I bet it was just someone going to the toilet though. Insufficient oxygen generation because when we turn down all the priorities nobody's been dealing with the desalinator it should be super high priority if we come to the high priorities we can see that everything everyone has life support way up there and surely this counts as life support i mean ash ash is kind of on it jonesy hicks all right okay this is this is better this is better okay well it looks like we're now there with making the atmosphere suits we just just gotta wait for people to get around to it right oh man five five five's not too bad Okay, here we go, starting to make our first copper exosuit, at least for this rock. We have made two here before and sent them across to Tirano. They got used for this high temperature system down here. Uh, Hicks now making our second one, th well, third one, I suppose, second uh, second uh, system. That's, that's the word I'll use. And we'll go deliver suit. Thanks. Oh, wait, oxygen. We'll steal it from this pipe here. Something like that. That, that will be wonderful. Why is there no ox? Oh, because of the desalin. Why is no one come and desalinated the desalinator? Let's just get someone like super on it right now. Okay, there she goes. There she goes. Beautiful, beautiful. We got a whole bunch of stuff on the floor here as well. Just got to keep sweeping up. Constantly sweeping up. Okay, that should hopefully make everything better again. I was a little bit worried about the lack of water we had going. This is this is our toilet water here. I believe this is also toilet water. No, what, what, where does this one go? Oh, this goes to our carbon skimmer, which we don't really need. I've also made the decision that all my freshly clean toilet water is going to come through and get picked up by this liquid pipe and then take priority in the farms because uh, the lack of farming is really starting to get there. And you can see that it's all irrigation. Oh, this is actually body temperature. What? It's too hot. It's too hot. Oh, no. Quick, s stop the flow. Gonna do it the really hacky way of uh, sticking a sticking a hole in it. There we go. Aras is having a problems finding food, despite being all over the floor down here. The second suit is being made here, but I've noticed that no one is going around doing any deliveries. I think this means we actually need more duplicates. I don't know about you guys, but I really feel like things are just taking a little bit too long to get done. Okay, so that's all of the exosuits are forged here. The Hicks. I thought Hicks was the guy who was gonna come around and do this next. Who knows? They've they've all got very interesting jobs. I'm going I'm to say sweep and see if anybody moves it. We're still getting starvation. No, 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 no. I just... Why is this door locked? No, it's not locked. Okay, fair enough. Why are they just standing there? I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. No alarms used here, honestly. All right, well, maybe we used a little bit of an alarm. I've got this atmosphere dock suit in place now, though, so if we ever need to go in here and deal with the cold, everything should be sorted. We've managed to do that, and we've managed to get our steel production up and running today. Heat damage? Why? 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 Broken pipe? Why is the pipe broken? How did how did it overboil? What I don't I don't get it. Why 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 did it do it? Why did it do it? Well, regardless, we got a whole bunch of steel set up here today. We got ourselves our refined carbon on the way. We've um, got ourselves a cooling loop, and we've made this area safe. Next time, we will be taking our rocket all the way over to Sharon because of course I want to try and get into these uh, aluminium volcanoes and gold volcanoes that we've got over here and try and get ourselves a decent uh, renewable source of refined metal but I will see you then when we're gonna do that bye